Welcome to Sportsman's Tradition Outdoors, coming to you from one of my favorite indoor places, my music studio, which is today our makeshift office. We just received our shipment, our first shipment, I might add, of STO gear, uh, hats featuring the logo designed by my 14-year-old Bryce, as STO is his vision. Basically, a 14-year-old that doesn't see a lot of his friends into the outdoors, and he's afraid that the heritage is slipping, and he wants his generation to have voices and trying to, to push it forward, and he wants to be one. He wants to make a living in the outdoors, and he wants to make a difference in the outdoors. So Bryce has put us on Twitter, which I know nothing about, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and online at www sportsmanstradition.com and we've somehow tied it all together we're stumbling through this we're uh, not techie totally at least he kind of is but not me and we're gonna we're gonna make this thing happen we're gonna just share our outdoor experiences that we have in uh, hopes of trying to get other people to do the same the second thing we're doing here is we're getting ready for a mule deer hunt in Arizona we got to put in for the draw and uh, we figured out where we want to go and we just got to put in update our licenses and be ready to go and hopefully get drawn and while i'm doing all this i'm thinking about a story from last year that i'm going to share with you today it was an amazing time we were out on his first archery hunt it's during the rut and we're driving through the mountains in my red jeep and we spot a deer a mule deer doe about 40 yards from us up on a hill staring right at us there was no hiding so Bryce steps out of the Jeep, it's running the whole time, and I break out an ELK call that I'm gonna show you a little bit more about today. And brought that deer within 10 yards from the Jeep and from Bryce, and about 12 more came over the hill. I didn't grab the camera, which was my phone, that's all I had, to start videoing until a couple minutes in, but it was amazing, they just all came over the hill. The only thing that didn't was that buck we were hoping was with them. But that's hunting. It's the experience that counts. And this is one that he'll never forget. And I, will, I won't either. So um, enjoy it. We're going to show you a little bit of it. And uh, see how cool it was to be just standing there in the open in a red jeep running. And having deer come right up to you. Amazing. I hope you got a kick out of that. It was definitely a lot more fun in person because you couldn't see all the deer in the picture. I was holding the camera up with one hand and calling with the other. Uh, there were still two deer right in front of the Jeep that I never got on film. They were probably within 10 to 15 yards of us and there was four or five that darted off to the right. The last call you'll notice I did an extra hard one just to startle them and get them moving. I was hoping to catch them all running on, on film and it kind of worked. I, I'll tell you what I use, okay? This call is the bomb. I don't care what we're doing. If we're hunting turkey, I carry one. When we see deer, I call them in. I learned this from my father-in-law, RL, and he's done amazing things with this thing. It, it's just crazy. They may not always come to you. They usually do. Sometimes they run from you, and if they're bedded, they might just stand up, but it's a tool that gets them to do something to expose themselves. And we've worked it in our favor very often. 
In fact, Bryce's deer he got last year had went over the hill from us when we worked in on it. We called it back over and he got his deer. Okay, so let's talk about how to use it a little bit. When you buy this thing and get it out of the box, you're going to see it has rubber bands. And there's also going to be one inside there that you're going to want to take out because it kind of gets in the way. You're simply going to bite down on this and you're going to blow and make the sound that you want to make. If the deer are relatively close, I start subtle. If they're starting to leave, I get louder, more frantic, and they'll either run or they'll turn around and come back. I've had them get nervous, leave, and then come back the harder I blew it, and they just keep coming harder and harder and really react. So you gotta kinda see what the deer are reacting to. Uh, it'll often bring the doe in, you know, and then the lead doe comes, they all come. But then the other thing that's good is sometimes the buck will just come in being curious. And, and even if you're doing, if the doe come in, the buck might follow. So uh, there's really no right or wrong way. You just kind of bite down. You can flip it over and get the same sound. The only difference you're gonna get is by the pressure you put on with your teeth and the force of the air. Pretty simple. You can't lose with the deer talk. And I'm not getting paid by them or nothing, but I'm telling you, it's worth having in your pocket. Okay, in closing, I got one more thing for you. If you can remember the five media outlets that we're in, they might be Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and online at sportsmanstradition.com. If you go to each one of them, you subscribe, Drop us a note, let us know you're there, tell us hello or whatever you want, but in the note, mention the hat. And at the end of this period, let's say June 1st, I'm gonna go back and see if anybody actually did it. We're not that big yet, so not a lot of people know about us, but we're gonna take anybody's name that did that, put it in a hat and draw for the hat. Not just any hat, this is our sample hat that we got from our hat guy. It has uh, the barrels on the guns are just a little bit off not bad it's a different color than we went with in the end and there's no more hats that are going to be this turquoise and gray color so you will have a pre number one hat which may not mean nothing to you but it will mean a lot to us so until next time take a good hunting and enjoy the outdoors even when you're indoors see ya